Hey guys, so good old Gavin um, was in Parliament at 11.30 telling us all how exam grades were going to be decided in 2021 and he announced a whole load of stuff that we already knew. It's such a good job that we pay these people so much money. Uh, Prim is just rustling around in my papers there so that's what that noise is but yes. He announced a load of stuff that we already knew. Let me just grab her. Here she is, love her. Um, yes, so in unsurprising news, we are going to have centre assessed grades again. Now, we already kind of knew this, so it's not really a real announcement. We already knew that there were going to be no standardisation or moderation for these um, centre assessed grades. So the whole thing aren't um the whole thing where we happened last year everyone was shifted up or shifted down that is not going to happen this year the grades that your teachers give you are going to be the grades that you are going to get the other thing that we kind of already knew is that the mini exams that um the uh, exam boards being asked to produce are going to be voluntary um and aren't going to be the sole bit of information that teachers are going to decide your grades on so that was what was announced even though we already knew all of that anyway. So what does this actually mean for you in reality? Um, in reality, we don't exactly know yet because the exact details of how your teachers will be asked to determine your grades hasn't yet been released. But what is likely to happen is that your school's going to have to decide on a set of criteria and this is probably going to be different between each school because some schools would have been there for much longer, had much more actual face-to-face -face teaching, some schools would have very well established online teaching and some schools won't have done. So the criteria will probably be different between from school to school and will probably be slightly different from student to student. For example, you can't really compare a student who has um, internet access to a student who doesn't have internet access because the student that doesn't have internet access hasn't been able to access online learning as well as the other students or that um you know one student who has a lot of responsibilities at home and a lot of things to take care of a lot of siblings maybe caring responsibilities for parents is completely different to one who has two parents who maybe don't work are retired and can really really focus on homeschooling them so it is completely different between schools and completely different from student to student but um what schools are probably going to be asked to do is to sort of give a set of criteria that they're going to be judging you against now hopefully schools will share that with you um so that you know exactly how you're being judged um but we don't know exactly know what that is yet and it's probably going to be very different from school to school. Now there are a few interesting things that came out that the appeals process is going to be, well there is going to be an appeals process this year. Last year there wasn't an appeals process, your school decided the grade, it went to the exam board, it got standardised and then it got unstandardised. So the grade that your school gave you was the grade that you were given. Um, this year there is going to be an appeals process, the, you can appeal to your school, who can then send their evidence to the exam board and the exam board will decide whether the grade that the school has given you is an appropriate grade or not. So there is an appeals process this year. Um, however, if you are in a school um, where the teachers are honest, um, where the teachers will have a whole range of data to, to back things up and where the teachers, you know, have integrity and um, will give you a fair and honest grade, then bad luck. Because these guys are, um, because the, the schools and they're going to be standardisation, very little moderation going on. If a school, if an individual teacher turned around and said, oh, my class are going to get all nines, or my class are going to get all A stars, and oh, look, I've made the evidence because I'm going to give them the, you know, like this, this test, but I'm going to tell them where it's from. Um, it's going to be really, really easy for schools, students, teachers to fake, not necessarily fake, but um, fix the results so that everyone gets really, really good grades. So if you are in a school that has some integrity, bad luck, because there are going to be people taking advantage of this situation all over the place. Whereas last year there was a standardisation 
procedure in place and if schools messed around a little bit then um then they would get found out and they would get penalised for that but um, I think this year there's going to be rampant grade inflation that the grades are going to be much much higher than before because there is absolutely nothing to stop um, that we know of at the moment nothing to stop schools or teachers just saying well done guys you've done really really well it's a really really hard year so just just all have lovely lovely grades um, so that's that's kind of what has been announced. What will this mean uh, for universities? Um, yeah, it's going to be really, really tricky for year 13s because um, loads of people are going to be getting really, really good grades. Now, um, offer, some of you will have had offers from universities, some of you won't have had offers from universities yet, and the final decision date hasn't been. So I imagine that something will be put in place for that i'm going to be i imagine we're going to be seeing a lot more unconditional offers coming from universities based on um predicted grades and personal statements and things like work experience and epqs and stuff like that so i imagine we're going to be seeing a lot more um uh unconditional offers um what about homeschool pupils jessica that is a brilliant brilliant question um it appears that homeschool pupils, private candidates, whether they're you know, homeschool or whether they're taking GCSEs, whether they're a bit older, have kind of been thrown under a bus again and abandoned this year. Um, the, there is some provision in place, but again, you need to have a centre and uh, these centres haven't yet been released who has to make give you a centre as grade based on the data. And, you know, if you're homeschooled and you're not affiliated or associated or with any um, centre, then it is going to be really, really hard. Do you still need to revise? Yes. This is a different situation to last year. You still need to revise. You still need to be doing some work because your teachers still need to assess you in some way. Now, like I said earlier, it is going to be up to the schools to decide exactly what kind of form that assessment's going to take whether it's going to be a mock when you get back to school based on the units that you've already done or whether it's going to be based on stuff you've been doing um over homeschool um that is kind of up for the schools to decide but effectively you still need to revise when will the year end that is a really 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 good question um the example in the department for education have consistently said that the decision needs to be made as late as possible in the school year. So I think year 11, year 13s are going to be in school for the whole school year. Um, you know, possibly right up until July when everyone else leaves school. Um, I don't think term's going to be expended. I don't think um, you're going to have to do summer school or anything like that. Um, mainly because I just think that's a horrifically bad idea. Everyone needs a break. Students, teachers, parents, I don't think they'll be sending year 11s, year 13s to summer school. Um, will the exam board, um, I imagine the exam board papers will be on the secure area. They are optional mini exams, um, which you, teachers do not have to use, they do not have to make you take. Um, it could be kind of like, you know, there's a set of questions in unit one and a set of questions in unit two and a set of questions in unit three. And you can just pick which of those questions you do, which the teachers can pick which ones you sit and which ones you don't sit. So, um, it's a really, really hard situation. Um, let's see, uh, you know, right, questions. Um, mm, mm, for year 11s, how would the tests look like? It is going to be different from school to school. So some schools are going to have like, you know, covered most of the units. They had lots and lots of online teaching. They, maybe in some subjects, but in all subjects, might make you do a mock or a couple of mocks and base your exams on that, internal exams. Some schools will have not had a lot of online teaching and they won't have covered the whole curriculum. So that... 
um, decision will be based on a very different set of criteria to um, the, the schools that have had all of that. Does this apply for year 12s? So the way that I understood it is that it is only going to be year 11s and year 13s that this is going to affect. And if you are going to be sitting kind of like um, a year early, so sitting like a GCSE in year 10 or a full A level in um, year 12, that you will not be getting grades this year and you will just have to move on to year 13 when it comes around. What about cheating, since so many people do it? Yes, cheating is going to be rife and rampant this year. Um, it is, they've put nothing in place to stop it. Um, so yes, there's nothing we can do about that. Some of my teachers, cover, right, so if you've only had cover teachers for your um, subjects this year, it is not, a teacher who decides the grades. They are not teacher assessed grades, they are centre assessed grades. So it will be kind of like um, input from your teachers, it will be input from the head of department and the school and you know the exams officer to look at the sorts of different things. Um, but that will vary from um, school to school and if you had only have cover teachers coming in and out then um, the school will have something in place to do that. Um, I don't think they're going to make any decisions about the 2022 exams just yet because um well they've only just made decisions about 2021 exams so i can't see them making any decisions about that yet um yes gcse's are cancelled well the exams cancelled you will still get gcse grades year 11 skip results they'll be in early August. They've moved results days to early August so that they have time to process the large number of appeals they are expecting. Now I'm going to make um, some follow-up videos on appeals and stuff like that when we know a bit more information but you um, are part of the decision to, as to what your grade is. So you can go to your teacher and say, look, I've done all of this revision. I've made all of these notes. I've done all of this extra work. I've done all these uh, predicted papers from my website or I've done the course that I've got on my website. This is all the evidence that I've got to say that I deserve this grade. Um, so there are lots and lots of things that you can do, including revising, doing topic tests, um, there are lots of things you can do to, to show your teachers how well you are working. Um, yes, this is going to affect some IGCSEs, but it depends on what exam board you are sitting. Similar thing is going to be happening with BTEC and um, any non-exam assessments for like art, drama, PE and things like that. Um, I imagine there'll be lots of unconditional offers um, coming from top universities. Um, the grades are based off tests or other things as well. It's going to be tests, it's going to be um, like answering questions in class, like if you're always the one there showing that you know the answer or if you're always you know, getting the answer wrong, it's going to be based on a whole range of criteria. So turning up for lessons, participating in lessons and handing in all your homework is actually really, really important. Um, okay, these are going really, really quickly now. Um, I'm going to end this here because it was just meant to be a really, really short thing. Um, we don't know anything about autumn or kind of like retaking exams yet, um, but I'll be back with some more like proper information about appeals and stuff like that a bit later on. Bye guys!